America's best buy in transportation. Remember the last time you took a train trip? You probably took it all as a matter of course. Those convenient round-the-clock schedules. Those modern streamlined cars. Comfortable seats and easy riding. Wonderful food and excellent service. Soft, comfortable beds. In short, all of the comforts of home. Today, these are the commonplaces of American railroad transportation. The ultimate in comfort and luxury. The last word in modern... Just how comfortable can train travel be? Well, here's the one and only answer to that question. The new Super Cheap. Flagship of Santa Fe's great fleet of fleet streamliners. All private room trains. Grand Hotel on Rails, in daily service between Chicago and Los Angeles. Uh, I beg your pardon, young lady. You're planning a train trip? Yes, I am. To Southern California. Then you must be planning on traveling on the new Super Chief. Well, not exactly. Why the new Super Chief? To me, a train's just a train. Something you travel on, from hither to yon. Indeed. Then suppose we make a trip from hither to yon. Or from Chicago to Los Angeles. And you see for yourself if the new Super Chief is just another train. Okay, by me. The new Super Chief, one day out of Chicago, rolling along on cushioned springs to give you the smoothest ride of your life. For moving around space, so important on long trips, the new Super Chief offers the attractive observation lounge, N car on the train. There's real comfort in this delightful lounge. A pleasant room to be in if you like people and the informal flow of social pleasantry. No coaches on this hotel on wheels. Only private rooms throughout. Here is the roomette on the new Super Chief. Popular accommodation for one person. Solid comfort in complete privacy. Plenty of room for coats and luggage. In each roomette, washstand, mirrored cabinet, and private toilet facilities. At night, lower one of the most comfortable beds you've ever slept in right out of the wall. And your bed is already made up for you. So just lie back and relax in complete comfort and safety. You're in for one of the best night's rest you've ever had. Other accommodations on the Super Chief include the new type bedroom for use by one or two persons. Beds in these new bedrooms have been designed parallel to the train. The new Super Chief compartment, a more spacious room with a comfortable full-length sofa seat and a lounge chair for daytime travel. Toilet facilities are enclosed. There are roomy closets, and you look out your own front window at the world passing by. This is the finest accommodation on rails today, a drawing room on the Super Chief. Spacious comfort is the keynote of this beautifully appointed apartment on rail. A full-length lounge sofa and two lounge chairs. Extra-large wardrobe, ample luggage space, completely enclosed toilet annex. And, as in all rooms on the Super Chief, radio or recorded programs as you wish. At night, one bed materializes from the wall while the full-length sofa across the end of the room is also quickly transformed into a restful bed. Certainly these are some of the answers to the question, just how comfortable can train travel be? There's also a third bed if there are three in the room. Your luxury hotel moves with you when you travel by train. One of the high points of any traveling day on the Super Chief is mealtime. But before we go into the dining car, let's have a look into the kitchen. As clean, compact, and efficient a kitchen as you'll find anywhere, moving or stationary. Nothing less than the best is more than a mere catchphrase to the chef and crew on this luxury train. Highest quality food, the most skillful preparation, followed through with friendly, unobtrusive service in the main dining car. Years of catering to the most exacting travelers 
affords Santa Fe the opportunity to make mealtime a memorable experience on this extraordinary train. Just next to the main dining car is an innovation about which it is said there is nothing like it in all railroading. Meet Santa Fe's newest of the new, the Super Chief Pleasure Dome car. This is the main lounge of the Pleasure Dome car. Spacious, subdued in decor, designed for the greatest convenience and passenger pleasure. Informal friendliness in a room where no one is a stranger. Tables for cards with fellow travelers. Writing desk and distinctively designed stationery with the compliments of Santa Fe. En route all the way for the businessmen, late news reports and stock bulletins. Shave or a haircut? You're next in this complete barber shop on rail. And for your convenience, the barber shop has a roomy shower bath. Directly under the pleasure dome is the lower lounge. A smart, intimate room in which to pass the time of day with fellow travelers over a cocktail or a lemonade. As the super chief quietly clicks off the miles at a rate that will bring your journey to an end all too soon. Top of the super next to the stars. By now, young lady, I'm sure you'll have to admit that the new super chief isn't just another train. Riding high under the glare-proof dome, open to view on all sides, you roll along the old Santa Fe Trail, a first-hand color-moving picture from a front-row balcony seat. And now we come to an innovation of luxury travel unique in modern railroading. At one end of the Pleasure Dome car, the turquoise room. There is nothing quite like the turquoise room to be found anywhere. The first and only private dining room on rail. Here is a distinctive service for super chief passengers. Available for private dinner parties if you wish, or private cocktail parties in the afternoon. There is no extra charge for reservations, and when not reserved, the turquoise room is open to all super chief passengers for relaxation and refreshment and superb food. Here, then, indeed, is the epitome of the traveler's contentment. All the luxury of dining at your favorite nightclub, your own party in complete privacy, enjoyment of wonderful food, exquisitely prepared and served. This is life on Santa Fe's new Super Chief. You have already passed through five states when less than 24 hours out of Chicago, your super chief pulls into the station at Albuquerque, New Mexico. Originally Spanish and then a Mexican stronghold, Albuquerque today is one of the most interesting stops on the Santa Fe system. Indians of the Great Southwest, whose ancestors roamed this vast territory generations before the white man was to dream there was a continent this side of Europe, now earn their livelihoods offering curios and native Indian handicrafts to Santa Fe passengers. Your attention, please. All aboard. The super cheap westbound all Pullman extra fare streamliner. Train on track number one. All aboard. So, after a pleasant, although rather short, interlude in a picturesque setting, you and your fellow travelers board the super chief again. Then, the signal from the train conductor to the engineer in the cab of the powerful diesel locomotive. Slowly, surely, gathering speed to continue the westbound run. The second morning out of Chicago. Raise your window shade, and there's California, the golden state. You roll through the lush, citrus belt, miles of orange and lemon groves along the right-of-way. Just after breakfast, Pasadena, famous among other things for its annual tournament of roses. Passengers can detrain here for Hollywood, Beverly Hills, and the San Fernando Valley. And then in another half hour, your luxury streamliner rolls leisurely into Los Angeles Union Station, last stop of a journey that is ending all too soon. While the red cap handles your baggage, you pause to say goodbye to fellow travelers. To those who live here, it's happy homecoming. 
For those coming here on business or for a holiday, welcome. And now, young lady, before we say goodbye, do you think the new Super Chief is just another train? Oh, I should say not. I had no idea a train could be so wonderful. The food, the accommodation, everything and everyone was just perfect. In fact, perfect is the only way I'll ever be able to describe my trip on the Super Chief. Well, many thanks for those very kind words. And we'll look forward to seeing you again eastbound on the Super Chief. It's Santa Fe all the way between Chicago and the West Coast. With special Pullman cars set out each night in Kansas City for connecting passengers from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and St. Louis. This is the train extraordinary. Extra fine, extra fare, extra comfort. Leave Chicago and Los Angeles every evening and arrive 39 and three quarters hours later. We hope you too have found the answer to the question, how comfortable and luxurious can a train ride be? Find out for yourself the next time you go in California. Travel super cheap. The train that sets a new world standard in travel. For this is indeed the last word in comfort and convenience. America's finest, most luxurious trainer, the super cheap. <laughs>